When you ask people what animal comes to mind when you say the words power, muscle, strength, you'll probably hear the usual suspects. Gorillas, elephants, even big cats come to mind for a lot of people. Now, while all of those animals are without a doubt strong and have lots of muscle to prove it, listen to what I'm about to tell you right now. They all pale in comparison to the true titans of the muscle industry. Our very own higher order fish, sharks. Hello and welcome back to the sharks world. Yes, I know I'm making a bold claim. No, I'm not trying to put down your favorite animal. Yes, you're still probably going to get offended or want to argue otherwise. But allow me a moment to state my case here in the sharks world and show why sharks are the true champions of muscle. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. Grab you a cold drink, pull up a chair to the table, and let's talk about sharks, the champions of muscle. So, let's start with us hairless murder apes. The average human body has about 35 to 45% muscle mass, probably less if you've seen people in Walmart. It's a known fact that humans have weak bodies compared to other animals. What about elephants? Elephants have roughly 38 to 43% muscle in their bodies. Them being the biggest land animal on the planet contributes to them being ridiculously strong. What about gorillas? King Kong took on three V-Rexes and gorillas are often the symbol of strength in fiction. Surely they have lots of muscle mass, right? Actually, gorillas have about 37% muscle mass, at least zoo gorillas. Wild ones, I imagine, have a bit more. But shark toes, if they have less muscle mass than us, then why are they so much stronger than us? Simple, they're carrying around two to 300 more pounds in weight than we are. It's a similar concept as to why pickup trucks are used for towing and not sports cars with high-powered engines. Pickup trucks are bigger and built for towing. So despite the fact that on paper, in the context of body mass, we have more muscle, gorillas are bigger and built for using their muscle more effectively. No, I'm not saying gorillas aren't strong, because clearly they are, but they have less muscle mass than the average human being. What about big cats? You've probably seen plenty of pictures of big cats with their muscles flexed, and a lot of them are cut. In fact, tiger legs are so strong that if a tiger died standing up, its legs would still keep it upright. Tigers have around 72% muscle mass, which is crazy compared to other cats like lions, which only have around 58% muscle mass. Funny enough, leopards actually take out animals like gorillas. Now, all of these numbers are clearly impressive, especially considering the feats a lot of these animals have done in the wild. But I want you to keep something in mind. Moving on land and moving in the ocean are two completely different things. It's very difficult to move through the water unless you're built for it. So clearly that means that whales and dolphins have lots of muscle, right? Adult Fraser dolphins have between 56 and 59% muscle mass, and adult spinner dolphins have around 52%. These two are at the upper ends of muscle for cetaceans. Cetaceans in general are more blubber than muscle. This, ladies and gentlemen, leads us to the true champions of this topic, sharks. Our friends over at elasmaresearch.org found out that a typical shark's body weight is about 
85% muscle. Let me repeat that. Sharks have twice as much muscle as a gorilla and an elephant and comfortably have a fair bit more than cetaceans. In fact, if there was one way to describe sharks, it would be a swimming muscle. Again, I always say that nurse sharks are slept on. Do you guys realize how hard they are? Sorry, how tough their bodies are? Dr. David Schiffman noted that they are literally built like tanks, with both their skin acting like a suit of armor and how much muscle they have. And that's not where it ends. We all know that there are two kinds of muscle. Red muscle, which requires a lot of oxygen, but has a ridiculous amount of stamina, and white muscle, responsible for fast twitch muscles and great feats of explosive energy, but runs out of stamina really quick due to lactic acid buildup. Now, while we talking monkeys have a tiny percent of white muscle in our bodies, over 90% of a shark's body is comprised of white muscle. What's interesting about that is, in the case of great whites and other lamnophores, to various extents, the muscles on their flanks, which is their tails, are augmented with bands of red muscle. This gives sharks a tremendous amount of stamina while maintaining access to fast twitch movements. This is part of what contributes to sharks being such efficient swimmers and at the same time, amazing athletes in the water. So there you have it, folks. If you're looking for a spirit animal that is the physical embodiment of strength and endurance, look no further than our higher order fish. It's another one of the many reasons why sharks are my all time favorite thing in the world. But this is going to be where we end today's video. Thank you for once again giving me some of your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.